once there was a quiet little farm where pigs and sheep and horses and cows and, well, you get the point. All the animals on the farm loved Christmas time. All the animals, that is, except for one. Mr Jerky the Christmas Turkey. Mr Jerky dreaded Christmas because he knew it meant one thing for him, ending up on the Christmas table, plucked, cooked and stuffed with Paxo. One day, Mr Jerky decided to escape from the farm. He went up to Horatio the horse in the next field. Gobble, gobble! Horatio, I was wondering if you could do me a favour. Nay? Er, uh, is that nay you would like to do me a favour, or nay you wouldn't? Nay? OK. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to help me escape so I don't end up being eaten on Christmas Day. Horatio stroked his chin as best as he could with a hoof. Hmm. Nay. Hmm. Is that nay you would like to help me, or nay you wouldn't? Nay. Never mind, stupid horse. Having got no luck with Horatio the horse, Mr Jerky decided to try Barbara and Mary the sheep. Ba meh, ba meh. Go go go. Hello, ladies. I was wondering if you two would like to help me escape so I don't get eaten on Christmas Day. Ba. What do you think, Mary? Meh. Well, Barbara, I think you should accept your fate, Mr Jerky. Go. Oh, my fate? Yes, we've accepted ours. Mary here will end up as a rug, where she'll be walked over constantly by muddy shoes and have dogs we on her. Yes, and Barbara will become a Christmas jumper, where she'll be worn once, then thrown into the back of a wardrobe and eaten by moths. So you're not going to help me? Sorry, it's the oven for you, turkey. Poor Mr Jerky walked over to the tree and started to cry. Oh, do I have to? Yes, but just when it seemed Mr Jerky would be doomed to the dining room table... Can I stop crying now? No! A glowing light appeared in the sky. Mr Jerky's eyes got brighter and brighter until... Ah, it's burning my eyes! Oops, sorry. Turn it down. And then a fairy appeared. Who are you? I'm Clarabella the Christmas Fairy. I've come to take you to a place where all your dreams come true. <gasps> Bangkok? No, Lapland. Oh, great. Well, come on, then. Hang on. Why do I want to go to Lapland? Because it's full of magic and mayhem. There's flying reindeers and musical elves and cookies and candy all lining the shelves. You don't get out much, do you? We haven't got much time. Just take my hand and away we'll fly, soaring past the trees and into the clear blue sky. Are you going to talk like that all the time? But I'm the Christmas fairy. This is what I do. Talking like this to me is as normal as having a... OK, I get the point. So off Mr Jerky and Clarabella flew, high into the sky, higher and higher until they hit a Boeing 747. Ah, my head! Oops, sorry! They flew halfway across the world until they landed in snowy Lapland. Uh, am I dead? No, you're in Lapland! Isn't this wonderful? Wonderful? It's freezing! Now I'm going to take you to a place where all the toys in the world are made. What? We're going to go to China now? Yeah. No, silly Billy. Santa's Grotto. Well, it better be warm. I'm growing icicles on my beak. So off they went to Santa's Grotto. When they got there, they met Gordon, the musical elf. Hello, Gordon. This is my new friend, Mr Jerky. I'd shake your hand, but my wing's frozen to my body. Hello, Mr Jerky. Do you like blowing pipes? No, but I'm guessing you do. Oh, yes. I've got something that will warm you up. Well, keep that to yourself. A good old sing-song. Come on, Clarabella. Let's sing a Christmas song. Yay! A Christmas, Christmas song, a Christmas song. Put, put down, down your things, things and sing along. If you are sad or need some cheer, the Merry Christmas song is here. Come on, Mr Jerky, join in. Oh, shoot me now. There's some snow, let's see it glow. It'll make you want to go, ho, ho, ho. ho. Look, will you both shut up? <gasps> what? Stop singing your stupid song. But, Mr Jerky, our songs give hope to millions. Yeah, well, they're giving me earache. Just stop singing and take me somewhere warm. 
preferably with a TV, comfy setty and broadband. Oh, and some crisps would be nice as well. But we're trying to help you, Mr Jerky. You call this helping me? Subjecting my frozen ears to that warbling twit? I knew a song about warbling. Shut up. Look, I want to go back to the farm right now. But if you go back, you'll be cooked for Christmas dinner. Yeah, well, right now the thought of being wrapped in tinfoil and bunged in a gas mark six oven is very appealing. Mr Jerky upset Clarabella so much, she started to cry. Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> now look what you've done, <laughs> poor Clarabella. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Oh, if you want to help me, you can. So can we sing another song now? If you must. Can it be about bells? Oh, it can be about suicidal dogs for all I care. So Gordon and Clarabella sang a merry song about bells and Mr Jerky listened, reluctantly. And when they finished, they all clapped, except Mr Jerky, whose wings were still stuck to his body. So he banged his head several times against a tree. Oh, well, that was great. Now, can I get a cup of tea? Tea? Oh, we don't have tea in Lapland. What? No tea? Oh, that's it. But we have cookies and candy. Oh, stick your cookies and candy. I'm off. How the hell do I get out of here? Just then, a large voice billowed overhead. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It's Santa, everybody. Santa pulled up in his big sleigh. Now then, what's going on here? Well, Santa, I rescued this turkey from certain death and brought him here, where we try to make him happy with songs of Christmas and snow. And bells. And bells. But he hates us and he wants to leave. <laughs> Poor Clarabella started to cry. I've already started. Oh. Oh, dear. Now, what's the matter, turkey? What's the matter? Well, what Tinkerbell here didn't tell you is that she's nearly killed me herself. Twice. And if that wasn't bad enough, I've been subjected to ear torture by Graham the Magical Gnome, Gordon the Musical Elf, whatever. Oh dear, oh dear. I tell you what, why don't you come inside? My wife will make us some hot soup and then we can watch football. Would you like that? Would I? Hello dear, look what I brought home. Christmas dinner. What? But I thought you were going to treat me with kindness and respect. And I am. I'll chop off your head before I pluck you. Ah! Gobble, gobble, gobble! Help, help! Get away from me, you fat lump! Gobble, gobble! And Mr Jerky lived happily ever after. Well, for three minutes at least before he was cooked and served as Santa's dinner. Clarabella, meanwhile, continued to help those less fortunate than her beautiful self. And Gordon became president of Uganda, where he rewrote the national anthem and made singing compulsory in all schools and public places and prisons. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>